My name is Shahab Bashar. Uh, I have a family here. I have a wife and three kids. So when I come to the United States, I, I have a kid. Uh, I was just one girl and another two girls. They born in the United States, Lincoln, Nebraska. I, I came to Lincoln, Nebraska, U.S. Uh, in 2000, February 18, 2017, when I came uh, to the United States first time, I came, of course, to Chicago, then transferred to Lincoln directly. The, the second day, I came to, to Lincoln, Nebraska. When, when I applied to come to the United States, uh, I, I didn't know anything about the state, about, about, I know just the name of America or the United States. So um, uh, my brother-in-law applied for me to come to the United States. So uh, uh, they told, he told me there is a many Yazidi uh, living in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, also my uncle, he is uh, living here like long time, I mean more than 10 years. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of, uh, I mean, large Yazidi population in the United States. So uh, I will be honest, I will, I would like, I would be close to, to Yazidi community. I see it's easier for me. I mean, yeah, it's easier mm -hmm. to come to Lincoln, Nebraska. Yeah. Before I apply, uh, I didn't hear about, uh, maybe because I was a student, so I'm, there's uh, many, uh, many cities, they are famous in, in something. So I, I think I heard about Nebraska. They are famous for uh, corn. <laughs> it's like agriculture is one of the one of the, one of the fam famous like uh, city or state in in the United States. Mm -hmm. I, maybe a little bit. It's famous for agriculture because I mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I studied a biology in Iraq. Okay. So maybe I I seen it before in like just in small sentences. Nebraska is in it has corn a lot of corn. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. Yeah, I just imagined it's a lot of corn over there, yeah. Uh, yeah. Were, did that become true? Did you see a lot of corn when you first yes, moved Yes, of here? course, yeah, it's a lot of, <laughs> uh, it's true, yeah, it's true. And, and there's a lot of corn, and it's uh, like a city, our uh, a state is, has a lot of agriculture, mm -hmm. take care for agriculture and the cattle. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, because I have a bachelor's degree in biology, I was, I was curious to come to Nebraska, Maybe I find a job here is better for me, mm -hmm. uh, and, and I, I did. I have a job. In, it's close to the to that the, my field. I have two jobs. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a job in the Yazidi Cultural Center, mm -hmm. and also I have a job as a, a interpreter with community crop. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's a part of the agriculture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are Are you still doing any biology? If you're trained in biology. Ah, uh, I. I think kind of. Uh, I mean, I, I am interpreter with the with the community crop organization, and this mm -hmm. organization take care for the farmer and the, like planting vegetables and something like that. So, uh, it's it's a, a kind of the closing to the biology. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I mean, my brother-in-law when when he applied for me, he told me, Shahab, when you come to Nebraska. We're gonna move to Oregon because there's a lot, there's a beautiful beach over there, sure. And uh, uh, I thought I don't know anything it's about the United States, about Nebraska, about the other states. So uh, let me come and I will decide. I will see. So uh, I came when I came to United States. I came to Nebraska. I found a job. I was very comfortable. For my brother-in-law, he told me, "Let's go to the Oregon." So he moved, I told him, no, I am not going to move because I love people here. I have friends, I have a job. I know the weather is crazy, it's very cold, a lot of snow, but I mean, I, am, I became a settle, I became a stable here. Mm -hmm. I make a bus, I mean, I, mean, I, I meet a friends here. I have friends, mm -hmm. I have, it's like uh, my second home. Mm -hmm. So I didn't forget my, my home uh, land in Iraq, my mm -hmm. town. But I see I'm very comfortable here. So mm -hmm. I see people, they are very respectful to me, mm -hmm. to my family. Uh, there's a, another reason I, 
I stayed in Lincoln, Nebraska because I have friends. They came to my family when I came to the Catholic Social Services mm -hmm. organization. Mm -hmm. uh, they told me, uh, okay, do you want somebody come to your home just to, to help you to be engaged with the community? I told them, yes, of course. So they sent uh, three students from the University of Nebraska. They came every week and another, our week, it depends. So just talking to us about the culture, about the, the United States, about uh, what meaning Arizona, what meaning the lake, what meaning the, this river, what meaning these mountains, what meaning Rocky Mountains. What, they told me a lot about the community, about what is, yeah, they, they taught me a lot, my family, and mm -hmm. they helped me to engage with the community. So, uh, Brana, uh, Brana, JC, and Colton, these three persons, mm -hmm. three people, they helped me a lot to engage with the community. Of course, there is the cultural center. It was one of the reasons uh, to stay here, mm -hmm. yeah, even the weather is cold. Before 2014, uh, my brother-in-law, he was living here. Mm -hmm. So, and my uncle, they told me, we can apply for you if you want to like to come to the United States. Mm -hmm. I told them, no, I don't like, mm -hmm. because I have a great job in Iraq. Mm -hmm. I have a lab technician, and I was a principal for school. I have two great job mm -hmm. and have beautiful home. Mm -hmm. uh, so it wasn't in my plan to come to the United States, and I, I, I could come. Because if I applied, maybe they accepted me. Mm -hmm. I didn't even apply. So after 2014, August 3rd, exactly what happened in in Iraq. So the ISIS attack, the all that like the, these groups of the terrorists attacked Iraq, attacked north parts of North Iraq and the middle of Iraq. So uh, particularly or especially, they attacked the Yazidi and they they made a genocide against the Yazidi. Uh, so they killed a lot of people. So uh, they took a woman as a slave, mm -hmm. slave, a slave, and uh, they 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 killed men and they took the women. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, that that day I was in in Shingal in the my my home mm -hmm. city, or, mm -hmm. uh, so north of Iraq. Uh, Aces come and it was horrible day and horrible. Everything I, I, I couldn't imagine. So they, they came and we ran to the mountains who captured, killed the men. I mean, they take the women and girls and kids. But uh, I was in mountains, sitting by the aces for like a week. Then uh, I, I flee to, to north of Iraq. I yeah. survived from that genocide. So I, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I saw by my eyes a lot of horrible things. Mm -hmm. So I saw. The old women and the men, they are dying from the thirst, thirst and hunger and, um, I mean, people who is disabled, mm -hmm. uh, they could walk and go through the mountains and to the another side to then to run to the Kurdistan and the area was sitting by the ISIS. Uh, I want to, to tell you a little bit about the situation when the ISIS came from the south of Sinjar and the people run to the north. And the people in the north, all of them, they, they, they fled, they run away to the mountains. Mm -hmm. But the people in the south, there's no source of the water over there. So mm -hmm. they come to the north. Mm -hmm. So we were a group of the a young people we taking a, we were taking a water to the people they coming from the south mm -hmm. of, of, of mountains. Mm -hmm. So I saw a lot of a lot of people they are dying from the tears, from hungers. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, they, many people, they, are, they were injured and they killed. They, they, they did from not taking care. There's no medicines. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it was a, a real genocide. Many people killed, many people kidnapped. And mm -hmm. there's still a lot of women and the kids, they are in captivity. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but it's hard to remember. I, I mean, mm -hmm. in Lincoln, Nebraska, I, I, I am one of the survivors. I think there's no, no many people they are survived from genocide because they were in Kurdistan or they were in, in here before the genocide. So a couple of, of, of survivors, we are in, in, in Lincoln, Nebraska. I was a, one of witnesses, our one of the mm -hmm. survivors from genocide. 
in, on August 5th, so two days after the suicide, uh, we took the water to the mountain, that, that dry mountain. There's no water over there, just a couple source of the north. While we we taking the water, so we gave each a person a, a like a, a cup of the a bottle. We take it to the barrel, we barrel of the you can say a Pepsi barrel mm -hmm. on our back to the we climbing the mountains. We we give a, each person a little bit of water to survive. Mm -hmm. I remember very well I I was giving uh, water to each person a little bit, and I was encouraged them to, to continue to reach the source of the water to, to be a survive. Mm -hmm. Then a woman was, being, uh, was holding her, her a baby, like a couple months old. She, the baby was feeding on her breast, mm -hmm. feeding, so on. I gave it here, not a, a cup of, of the bar water. I gave it here, the whole bar. Mm -hmm. And she was just, she was looking on my eyes, I want more, I want more. Mm -hmm. So she drank a lot, I mean she drank a glass of water. Then, uh, uh, then I, I went to another, like, more, we are, we are going more mm -hmm. further. I saw a woman, she was bearing a, a barrel of water, but it's made war, black made war. It's not a war, it's kind of the mat. Mm -hmm. I told her sister, just leave it. I, I will give you a little bit water. Another, another, another girl. She was like in twenty. Mm -hmm. she, she told me there's a war. She was like a crazy. She was uh, in hysteria situation. There's a war. I told her, yeah, yes, there's a war. Just continue go, and you're gonna arrive. You're gonna like arrive to the source of war. A war. She told me a war. A war. I saw many people. They are just. They lie on the ground. Nobody take who 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 gonna take care for them. Mm -hmm. I saw a man. He was his lips was uh, going. He told me, "It's a couple of days. I didn't eat anything. It's just just leaves of the tree, the oak tree, actually, exactly the oak tree." Uh, uh, when I came from the top of the mountain, I saw a, a small kid. She was lying on the ground. Barely, she was conscious. I, I, I keep it a little bit water for myself, mm -hmm. to for just for me. I try to give her. I I pour on her mouth the the bar of water, a little bit water. Mm -hmm. She was alive. Mm -hmm. So I, I I became happy. I mean, she was alive. I try to take it here. She was I mean she was for thirteen years old. Somebody told me just leave it over there because she's disabled. She was, I mean, this, this feeling, this, this situation, they killing me every moment I remember. It's mm -hmm. hard for me to remember the situation. Mm -hmm. Then I, uh, then I came, at the sixth day, we were sitting in, and we were in the same situation. My wife told me, her, her name is Hannah, your daughter gonna die without milk. Because that time my daughter was, Thirty one day old, so one month, mm. and uh, there wasn't milk for breastfeeding milk, so mm -hmm. there no milk for her mom because we were too hunger. I mean, there's no milk. Mm -hmm. I tried to get a milk, a can of milk for Mella, but that milk is finished. So there's a little bit. My wife told me, "Your daughter, our daughter, is gonna be die if we don't find a solution." So I tried to fly to the north of Syria, then to Kurdistan, mm -hmm. try to find a, a door mm -hmm. or to, to, to get out from that mountain. But it was a very difficult situation. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we die, maybe we not. Then we, we went to the Syria, but it was, there was a lot of shooting between our hands. Yapaja, Yapaja, Yapaka, we say, Pakaka, or Yapaja, YPG. Mm -hmm. Actually, YPG mm -hmm. we, groups of the Kurdish military they helped us to get to Syria. Then to mm -hmm. so on, on our way we were in the uh, we we walked a lot, couple miles. Then then we they took us in the on the trunks of the big truck. Though so I didn't know my 
I, I, I don't know my, my, my daughter was still alive or not. So I was telling Hannah, who is my wife, our daughter is alive or not. She was punch here. Mm -hmm. She told me, I am punching here. She's, she style move. Mm -hmm. It was this. So we know she's alive because my wife, she was punching our Jean, my daughters. Mm -hmm. So um, we arrived at the Syria border. They told me, oh, who's this daughter? Who's this girl? I told her, it's my, my daughter. They told me, whose name? What's her name? Her name was Ar Arabic name, I mean. I mean, not our, that's normal name. I told her, we're gonna rename her as your group, Yapaja. They told me, no, we're gonna name her Arjin. I mean, new life after fire. Wow. So her name now in the ID is different and nickname is Arjin. She's at the cruiser elementary school in Lincoln, Nebraska. She's mm -hmm. smart and happy. Mm -hmm. That girl, she survived from that genocide. Thousands of the, the kids in her age killed it. Mm -hmm. Killed it or died actually from thirst and hunger, mm -hmm. that, from genocide. But Arjun was lucky, she survived it. But unfortunately, yeah, many, many of kids in her age, they died from genocide. Mm -hmm. I mean, we survived it, then I applied to come to the United States. I was eager to come to the United States because I want to find a home. Mm -hmm. Safe home, safe land mm -hmm. for for my my family. For because I be, I was a dad, I want I want my daughter like become become in safe place, mm -hmm. become go to good school. To between the people, they respect uh, they respect our, I mean, our culture, mm -hmm. our. I, everything is so. Uh, I mean, you are they don't respect us. I will be, I will be honest. Nobody tell me in Lincoln, Nebraska, who's your religion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody asked me. I mean, it's my it's kind of the freedom. Nobody asked me in Iraq. Uh, when I was in the college in north of Iraq, from my class, 90 students, 85 of them told me, Can become Muslim. I will be honest. Nobody here come to ask me, can become Christian? And even nobody asked me, who's your religion? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, after I came to the United States, I saw a freedom. Mm -hmm. Freedom of speech. Right now, I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. Freedom of the, freedom of the, everything just, I mm -hmm. see. I, I am living my dream life now. Mm -hmm. I was living good life in Iraq, but not, after genocide, so uh, I chose Lincoln. Not I chose Lincoln, but my f my uncle, my brother-in-law, and the large Yazidi population in the United States were here. Not here, yeah. mm -hmm. so I came to to this 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 beautiful state, and uh, I want I stick it. I I want to stay here, mm -hmm. and I don't have any plan to go to the move to another city. Mm -hmm. Because I have friends, I have a job, mm -hmm. we have this Yazidi cultural center, and mm -hmm. uh, yes, I mean, great living in New York State, Nebraska. No, no, <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. I did not. Because uh, he told me, Shahab, you have to come. I told him, no, it's expensive, I think. Because I asked it. He didn't ask very well when he, he moved, it was very expensive. Mm -hmm. There wasn't like Arabic market, I mean, our food. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a food of parts of the culture. Mm -hmm. So he told me, oh my God, I miss the bread, I miss the rice. <laughs> I mean, so uh, the, the rent was expensive. I mean, the, old, the life was expensive over there. Mm -hmm. So uh, he stayed a couple months. Mm -hmm. I told him, come back to Nebraska. It, before that time, he was said, Nebraska is not America. Nebraska is not good. Nebraska is crazy. It's cold. <laughs> After he went to Oregon, he missed us. He said, oh, the real America in Nebraska. So now, we, sometimes we are just like hang out or we go through the, his car. He told me, man, this, this, is the, this, is the, this is America. This is America. I, I, I don't know. He used so Oregon. You visit Oregon. Mm -hmm. He told me it's too expensive mm -hmm. for everything. Mm -hmm. 
and there's no many refugee, refugee over there. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, okay, I mean the community and the social situation is something important. I didn't know after, till I, I, I tasted, till I went to mm -hmm. Oregon. I mean, Oregon, I know it's beautiful. I didn't visit it, but there's a beach, there's a beautiful <laughs> weather, that, but you couldn't find the community. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. couldn't find the like, cheap rent. Mm -hmm. I mean, something is important. Mm -hmm. As, uh, for me, uh, for me, I like to talk to people. Mm -hmm. I like, I like be friend with you, mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. I learn from you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I learn from you, and you are a part of my happiness. Okay. So, uh, so, so at the Lincoln, I have friends. It's hard to make a friends everywhere. That's true. Yeah, I, I, I have friends here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I read your, your post on Facebook. I, I will be happy. <laughs> I learn from you because you have that great language. You are professional in language. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy in Lincoln, Nebraska. Mm -hmm. that's, that's many Yazidi here. We have conference, we have, mm -hmm. we have meeting, we have even, uh, events, we have Yazidi Cultural Center here, mm -hmm. we have Center People in Natives, we have we have wedding party, we have uh, holidays, we have we have community. Mm -hmm. Because we are a large, because we are we have many people. We are here, so the 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 community from Lincoln community they take care for us mm -hmm. more than when I I will be in the another city and an individual by myself. Who are you? Mm -hmm. But now you come to me. Mm -hmm. You are from Yazidi. We now Yazidi. Mm -hmm. 50,000 people in Lincoln, Nebraska. Mm -hmm. So if I told you I am Yazidi, you know me. I mean, not religion, I mean a community. Mm -hmm. You recognize me. I have a different culture and different food. Mm -hmm. So yeah, through my so, culture, you know, through my, my food, mm -hmm. you know, uh, maybe some simple like that, maybe some, mm -hmm. maybe you, you are, you have a more mercy than the other uh, to, uh, like with me because you know what happened to me. Mm -hmm. You know I have an injury here, mm -hmm. heartbroken here because mm -hmm. you know we are poor community and they killed us because we are just we are different from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, for <laughs> for for my culture, I I mean I I have like a mixing food with the like barbecue or the kids or the barbecue or the chicken barbecue. Mm -hmm. With uh, I I love vegetables and uh, mix it with the, some parts of the chicken. I love chicken. I love chicken and vegetables. But in in American food, I love many of them. I love milk chicken in McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, That's I a love good it. <laughs> I mean, it, I know it's cheap, cheap, but I mean, I love it. it. Uh, I um, I love uh, I love pizza too. Yeah, American pizza. So all the is, choices. <laughs> yes, yeah. I, I, I love both of them. Uh, pizza and the milk chicken. Yeah. About the weathers, I have experience with the, with the weather because when I came to the United States, I became sick for a couple months. I, 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 I attended the hospital because of, of like a congestion, the weathers. And I never see something like cold like this weather. I mean, until my immunity recognizes the weather, I s like I, I become tired. But the year after year, or the season after season, I am, I am. I think I am. I become more friends with this weather. I I mean more familiar with this weather. I know it's hard, uh, but. I, I just imagine every uh, snowfall, the call snowflake, mm -hmm. become a flower, become a, a something is green. Uh, it helped me to just go through the hard winter. I just imagine, I know this, this snow is hard, this, but this snow is feed the earth, and this earth is become grow and become flowers and the green and. Then we're gonna we're gonna have a like beautiful spring, beautiful summer, beautiful tree in in fall. So uh, I mean I I try to to adapt with the weather.
I, it's hard. I, I, I don't like it, but I, I try to, to adapt myself with it. I mean, we have, we have to accept this is the nature. Mm -hmm. This is the nature, and I love the nature. This nature gave us something is the happiness. Give us something is we become happy and we food we we f like we eat na natural things. Um, I mean our cultural. We, me and my wife, we, we, we focus a lot about uh, fruits and vegetables. So most of our food is vegetables. So I mean, I, I just imagine beautiful things after the winter, yeah. Ah, I had a lot in the beginning. So everything is different from that culture to this culture. The weather, people, uh, the, the main thing or things, it was the language. When I came to the United States, it was hard to find a home because I wasn't working in the first couple of three months. And uh, then uh, after I found a job at uh, one of the one of the factory. Uh, so um, I wasn't good in language. <laughs> Still, I am not good. But I mean, uh, now I am better than that time. I was working. Um, then uh, my supervisor a couple times told me. Till when you gonna learn English? Till when? And that things make me very sad. I quit my job. First thing, then I, I, I become broke. I will be honest, because uh, uh, I was crying sometimes because everything changed. It was hard to imagine. Uh, it was hard in the beginning to find a job. Then. Then I came to to people, and I tried to I tried to find another job. It was hard for me in the beginning. Yeah, the language barrier, weather, and uh, I I mean we were we were more social in our community. Their share is I is hard. Even even getting the license, it was hard. Cancel of the hard. So. We, 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 in the beginning, I, I, I was more sensitive to, to things, but now I am, I mean, I am good. I am finding a job for people now. In the beginning, it was hard to find a job for myself, but now I am applying for people. It's a huge difference between the beginning and uh, after two years and a half. Yeah. When I came to United States, uh, 2006, 17, after I came, I think two months, three months, something like that, they opened the center. When they opened, I, I came here through a friend of mine. He, he is a board member now, Saad Papir, maybe you know him. Uh, I, was, I, I was a volunteer in this, in this center for just helping people, a volunteer making hours. Then, um, uh, I was, I was here just sitting in one of this chair, just making our I'm volunteering our here. So the, the manager over this center, the supervisor over this center, they posted the, the community crabs job. They looking, they hiring a job. She posted over there like she 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 hung it over there. Her name was Jolene. So uh, she told me and said, we need an interpreter with the. With community crab, like eight hours, I, I told her what the job. Can you explain a little bit for me? So she said, okay. Then I, I said, I'm a biologist. I, said, I, I am a right person for that job. I wasn't good in English, and now I am not good. But I mean, uh, I applied for the job. I get a job to the Yazidi Cultural Center. Then I, I was very happy, and I am still working with that, that job. Then I, then I found a job here, uh, like uh, I became a teacher for refugee, couple of students and client assistants. I, I applied for it, they gave me a job. So uh, it helped me a lot to engage with the community. So I mean, I am very happy when I, I, I help a people, when I teach a people, so I, uh, yeah. 
it's a hard question. I mean, when you say coming back, I mean, you, it's hard to compare U.S. with Iraq. U.S. in the top, Iraq is the down. I would be honest. That's the honest. I think most of the people, they, they like their uh, original country or their, I don't know what called the original country. I, ha I, I, I love my home. I, I love my friends over there. I had a job over there, but if I, sometimes I say, okay, if I become citizenship, I will come back. But I, other, otherwise, otherwise I, sometimes I just think for my girl and cousin school, she's attended and, okay, America is a great country. I will stay here. And 90% uh, of my thoughts say, okay, Shahab, you have to stay here, you have to build your life, you have to plan, you have, you have to set a goals for your life, and America is great, so you have freedom, you can go to your family sometimes in Europe, and even you can go to Iraq, but if you live in Iraq, maybe you kill, I'm just talking to myself, you kill for nothing. I, I mean... My dream is many Yazidi come to the United States, not I go to back to Iraq. My dream is more Yazidi survive from that situation they are. So yeah. So um I don't think just visiting that's visiting I will I will visit Iraq, of course. I will visit Germany, my family over there. I will visit my homeland in Iraq. But to live all my life in Iraq no, I'm not going to back to Iraq. But I mean, every couple of years, maybe I visit. Our ten years, I visit just visiting. Okay, Yazidi Cultural Center is uh, is founded to help Yazidi, to Yazidi to to don't forget their culture. I mean, uh, we had a class of uh, of Kormanji, our language we use. Um, uh, I think Yazidi Cultural Center is very important to our community. So many people, they don't, they don't know language. They come to us. We found a job for them. We, we, we do a lot of, for the community who come to us. I mean, we are, we are planning to, to do more things for our community, like more event, more, more things to just keep our culture alive. So, yeah, we, we try to, to make Yazidism, Yazidi here. Yeah, I, know, I mean, we have a beautiful, uh, beautiful, complex community. I mean, we want to be, like, keep this community, and Yazidi Cultural Center is a, is a point. We have to take care for it, to keep this community keep going. And even in the in recent life, in modern lives, we want to, we want to, we would like to keep our culture alive, our language alive, our custom, our clothes. And yeah, uh, I'm comfortable when I am when I'm trying to to do something to, to keep our history alive. Yes. The hardest thing is when when like this center this center when we I think is getting fund. Of also there's there's I mean every every center like this our people they need support. So uh, I mean we, we have people they want to work here. They want to become a teacher for languages. I mean, we, we need a bigger place. We need a fund for the like like language classes or like more like more events. Of course, I think something like that it needs supports. Recently, I think we we facing a we facing problem with the not not a problem. I mean, we facing something getting a fund or getting support. For if you compare it with the other city, 
So we have many, not many couple of Yazidi family in the Houston, Texas, in the Virginia, in Washington, and Arizona, Lincoln. So uh, if you compare Lincoln with them, it's Lincoln is, is, is more much better than that that city. And uh, because uh, okay, uh, we have couple interpreters. They work with the Lincoln Public Schools. Mm -hmm. So uh, like they they make everything easier between the family and the. Uh, the, and the uh, school. Mm -hmm. Also, we have uh, uh, we have some programs like they call after school programs. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we go to uh, uh, from music culture center. We prepare something, some subject, and we talk to the to the students. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they respect us mm -hmm. a lot. And uh, I hope, I wish we 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 will have something in the future in like studying our language, like half hour, maybe 40 minutes a week, just taking care for our languages. Mm -hmm. We don't want to lose this beautiful language. Culture, the main the mind things in culture is a language. Custom, custom, you can't just remember, but the language is very important. We are, we are losing our, our beautiful Kurmanji, our language now. So we're facing this problem right now. Hopefully one day we have some teachers in, in, in public school because it's hard to, to, to collect people, to get people together in another place, but school is the easier place to find the new generation. You know, we, we, are, we are losing our language not from the old generation, the new generation they are losing languages. I see is in Lincoln, Nebraska, exactly is the is a problem. We are losing our. We want something more take care of our languages. I don't know exactly what maybe classes. I mean, for for me, I am not a religion religion man. It's hard to answer this question, but I have every person has his idea about the, the subjects and. Um, mm -hmm. It's very complicated, and our our community is is too close, mm -hmm. like in the tight cross. They are not mirroring outside mm -hmm. of our religions, and this this thing is not me, our Hadi, our other person. They did it's for a long time ago, and is mm -hmm. even go to this subject is complicated. It's one one of our one of our secret we style exist in in north of Iraq, between the mm -hmm. million, millions of Muslims, mm -hmm. we are still Yazidi. Mm -hmm. So I, th I think, so, and it's hard to change. It, it change step by step, not a year or, mm -hmm. I, I see we should be more open. Mm -hmm. in, because there's many rules in religions, it don't fit, doesn't fit with the, the modern life. Mm -hmm. You know, the, I, I'm not a religion person, but as my idea, <laughs> sometimes religion should be changed, some rules in religion should be changed, to fit with the modern life. Mm -hmm. So the life is changing through this, mm -hmm. this the huge, huge revelation of the uh, technologies. And mm -hmm. so uh, I think it's going to be changed. We're going to be more open, but we need time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, yeah. It's, now dating for new generation with the other community and uh, marrying with them, it, uh, it create uh, some problem in family. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think the community try to fix it. Our mm -hmm. these are it's too complicated subjects. I think it need time to mm -hmm. to fix it. We are op we are we are kings of the open community, but not about the marriage. We are about marriage, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another thing is maybe, yeah, we are we are open but not about the marriage. In before 2014, from 2011-2014, I I graduate I graduated for 2010 in in from a biology department. So I became a teacher mm -hmm. in elementary school close to my home, north of Iraq, in Shingar exactly. Mm -hmm. in a village, you can say a compound, a village, mm -hmm. a couple thousand people. Uh, so I was working in the, in the morning teaching, mm 
I was a teacher. In the evening, I was a lab technician. Mm -hmm. Then uh, 2014, I'm not going to tell a lot about 2014. The genocide happened. We fled to another city. So uh, many family, like thousand family, you can say thousand, less than thousand. I don't know exactly how many family stayed in the mountains. They were fighting ISIS and terrorists. They said, no, we are dying. We are not leave the mountains. So after 2000, in 2000, uh, 2015, they, by helping of the U.S. Air Forces and the Kurdish military, they, they, they retake or they took the area from ISIS, the north side of the Shingal. Mm -hmm. Not just north side, they just opened the sieging area, north side from Shingal. So uh, in 2015, 14, 15, 16, Nobody went to open the school for the family to remain in the mountains. Mm -hmm. So these are some villages, they, people they come from mountains to the villages. Mm -hmm. And people who are living in the mountains, nobody went to open a, mm -hmm. a school for them. Mm -hmm. So uh, I get a couple phone calls. They told me, if you could come open the school, I told them, I am not a principal of school, I just a teacher. They told me we can make you a, a, some people, just normal people, people over there. Mm -hmm. I went, I walked on the papers and to the Baghdad, the capital. Then I, I reopened the first school at a Jewish site. Mm -hmm. So from nothing, everything was broken. I rebuilt by myself everything as I was by a pencil for the student. So mm -hmm. the students come from the old mountains, all villages. Mm -hmm. It wasn't safe. It was the ice was too close, like 10 miles or closer to us. And we were like studying, teaching that student. So, I mean, it was too hard to mm -hmm. rebuild that school for 700 students. I have pictures and I have some videos. So that the school was was success. So many people, they coming, many students, they coming from the all parts of the mountains to my school. I was happy saving, mm -hmm. helping that students for one year. After one year, a friend of mine, he was a teacher, he came to help me. Then I get, uh, then I get a visa mm -hmm. to come to the United States. Mm -hmm. I came to the United States. It was hard to leave the student. It was mm -hmm. the br winter break when I leave them. I decided them to by even mm. I came uh, so I was focusing our in my mind to to teach people our as I love teach pe teaching people mm -hmm. so I applied for job here in Yazidi Cultural Center there was a couple of students like five six students mm -hmm. you are the refugee new for new refugee mm -hmm. so I I taught them my English a basic English mm -hmm. I was happy with them, but uh, unfortunately, we had a grant, end of the grant, our grant here. Mm -hmm. So we lose our class. I mean, the student came, they went to another places. I mean, mm -hmm. it was, uh, I, I still dream to become a teacher mm -hmm. here in Lincoln, Nebraska, because I, would, I love teaching. Mm -hmm. Now I am I'm preparing for the practice test. Mm -hmm. It's a test for to become a teacher, maybe you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is the school still in existence? Does it still? Yes. Yes, it's exist. I visit that school a mm -hmm. couple of days ago. I was in Iraq and Germany. I visit that school. It's still existing. And there's yeah. a. How many students are there? For now, it's like a thousand students. Wow. That school, yeah, just one school, and so I, it's, it's hard to imagine, like. 40 students or 50 students in one classroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not too big, like five by four meters. Mm -hmm. It's every, like this, like that, three person, they get just kind of too, too close to each other. There's no entertainment things, like there's no, no garden. It's cold in the winter and the hot in the spring and the fall. There's, they did a lot of things. They did a lot of. There's just this is just a blackboard, whiteboards, and a mm -hmm. marker. 
mm -hmm. and teachers. There's just one teacher. He is a principal. There's a couple of volunteers. They, they come volunteering. Nobody pay for them anything. It's, it's hard when you look at their their shoes. They don't have socks or they don't have good shoes or they don't have bags. Even the, if they have a little bag, but the small bag, they, they don't have teachers. Just one teacher. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's, I couldn't imagine. Are, are you trying to help get the word out about that school, for example? Are you? Are you? Because that's that seems to be of something course, that people in Lincoln. Of would be course, I, 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 of course, of course. This that school, that school is a, a one of my dream to help them. I mean, I think most of the people they taking care for the, mm -hmm. they want to do some some good in their lives. I mean, if you help it, a, a orphan. Mm -hmm. You become happy, and you make him happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You make him happy. So, uh, if I get like, I, w I love, I ha I love to 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 help that students in the future. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I if I become success here. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the school? Uh, Mork Yarmouk School. If you Yarmouk School, Yarmouk. Uh, I don't know in, in English. You know how we say. Uh, in Arabic, I know, or in Kurdish, I know that's the school, but uh, the name of school. In the, the uh, yeah, book for boys and girls, they are together, so like mixing. Mm -hmm. You know, some, some school in Iraq, they are just boys, some of them just girls. Mm -hmm. this, this, this school is mixing, and the first school existed. And the, the same school I graduated from it when I was, uh, mm -hmm. when I was like 10 years from elementary school, the same school. Uh, yeah, for for that for these things, the Yazidi are more uh, open than the Muslim community in Iraq. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, the girls and the boys they are more mixed and they have almost mm -hmm. the same in the United States. Mm -hmm. the elementary is them, but I think in, in it, because we are a minority, we are in Iraq. Yes, our our the curriculum in, curriculum in Iraq is in Arabic. Mm -hmm. In Arabic, so the decision is made by the by the principal of school. Mm -hmm. If you would like to separate the girls from the boys, if you have many teachers, you have many teachers, mm -hmm. you could do that. But in our community, I see most of the school, almost all of them, they are missing. But we, if we go to the Baghdad or another city, you can see many school. They are just boy or. The, Girls mm -hmm. and some things I don't encourage it separate. I would like to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to be together, living mm -hmm. together, I want to study together. Mm -hmm. I have many pictures for school and uh, the, the school is separated and uh, so after genocide, they built some some school in the mountains. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> I have some picture. I will show you the picture okay. here. I take it for two days. Mm -hmm. Four days, mm -hmm. I can't show you the day I was in Iraq. It was mm -hmm. mountains. It's, it's heartbroken mm -hmm. when you see the, the discs and the, the mud and everywhere. Uh, I mean, the main, the main things they need is, is there's no teacher. No, there's no dangerous. Uh, I mean, I Iraq. That that area is not that safe, very safe if you compare to the US. But if you compare to the other city in Iraq, that's okay. It's dangerous because we are, it's kind of dangerous too. We are minority. Mm -hmm. We are afraid from Turkey. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah. Erdogan is dangerous. Mm -hmm. All people they know, he is supporting, mm -hmm. he support, supports the tourists over the world. Uh, that's something. Most people, all people now, and now he is the, he killing people. They are just they living there in their homeland. Mm -hmm. He going to kill them. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are close to Erdogan. Erdogan is the president of the Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing is, we have teacher mm -hmm. in that area. Mm -hmm. We have people. They graduate already from the school, from the college, mm -hmm. from university. But we just need some some people give them like two hundred dollar a month, not that money, two hundred. Mm -hmm. 
not a thousand dollar a month, mm -hmm. those three thousand a month, those four thousand here. So here, I mean, the the, the teacher get like four thousand dollar or three thousand dollar. Teacher over there need two hundred dollar to teach that student, two hundred dollar just to make a good generation. To I mean that that student over there, they are kids. They don't. They don't understand anything, mm -hmm. so they have right to mm -hmm. to learn, to live mm -hmm. normal life. Mm -hmm. So, if if yes, they support yes, the organization support a couple of volunteers like I don't know, carry five something like that. Mm -hmm. They put every every uh, volunteer in the uh, school. They support they buy the money. They get a fund and support, them. but many school just one teacher from the 20 teacher or from 10 teachers. So the school has, for example, school has 1,000 students. They have one, one, one teacher who is mm -hmm. a principal, who is a guard, who is a cleaner, who is everything. And he has like couple, couple volunteers put out money. Mm -hmm. they, nobody pay for them a, a, a $1 or a, mm -hmm. any money. So I, I, I went to Shingar recently, couple last week. So that school need just just supporting that that volunteers from that team mm -hmm. teachers to to raise this this beautiful kid to become a stronger and become mm -hmm. become like with the all other kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm.